In video number three in our Kipware QTE series, we're going to take a look at a very unique feature we feel inside of Kipware QTE, and that is the perishable tooling database. Uh, a lot of people don't include perishable tooling when they create a cost estimate, uh, maybe because it's a little bit uh, difficult to do, or it's just a feature that they miss uh, when they do the cost estimate. But if you get a job where you need to drill 100 holes, uh, does anybody really take into account the number of center drills, the number of drills required uh, to be able to make those parts, and are those costs included in the cost estimate? So QTE includes a perishable tooling cost database and basically you can just put uh, tooling in here again as we mentioned in the material uh, database video this isn't something that you want to sit there and input tooling uh, into the database but as you're going through and creating estimates uh, go through and put those tools that you're going to use for the particular estimate you're creating in the database and now they're there for life every time you go in to do an estimate and you need that tool you can just pull it out of the database and include it uh, in the in the uh, cost estimate in your quotation. If we take a look at how the tooling is used in the cost estimating portion, uh, basically we have an unlimited number of tools that you can add to each particular estimate that you're doing. Uh, so maybe you need a roughing tool, finishing tool for turning, uh, then you're going to bring it to a machining center and you're going to do some spot drilling and drilling, uh, face milling. All those tools, all those inserts can be included into the perishable tool portion of the estimate and two ways to enter it is you can pull down and you can pull something from the database that you need and we're using an estimated tool life so if you're making 350 pieces and you think that you can get 20 pieces out of that tool again QTE is going to go through amortize the cost of that tooling over the quantities that you're going to make so you can pull something down from the database uh, as with everything inside of QTE you can also do manual data entry uh, if this is a particular special tool that you're not going to keep in stock, uh, but something that you're going to need for this particular job, you can just uh, do some data entry. Again, estimated tool life and the cost of the tool. So again, an unlimited number of tools. So now you're going to get the perishable tooling costs into the estimate. I'm uh, going to make the estimate a little bit more accurate and reflective of what's happening on your shop floor.